we're really aware uh, this recent season has been really tricky uh, for a lot of people kind of as we've adapted how we be church as Restore Community Church and we've loved putting together the live stream on a Sunday so that people can engage and encounter Jesus on a Sunday morning and worship separately but together and hear from God and also how people have been connecting during the week on online small groups and waving at each other on the street at a distance. Um, but we're really excited that the government are starting to lift restrictions and regulations. Um, we've, as a core team leadership, we've started to put in place a roadmap of what those phases might look like moving forward and how we might start to grow our gatherings once again. And so phase one, which is in action now, uh, the government has said that two households can mix um, very freely. And so we want to encourage um, everybody, if it's safe for you to do so, if you're comfortable to do so, and you have the space to do so, then invite another household round during the week and on a Sunday, uh, maybe watch the live stream together on a Sunday or have a meal together afterwards, or get together in the week and go for walks or have someone over for a meal. And just want to encourage you to start connecting with others again in the church family, to encourage one another and build relationship together once again. Now, we're anticipating that the second phase of the lockdown will be a further loosening of regulations, which will mean that possibly more than two households will be able to gather together. And when that happens, we're anticipating, and what we'd love to encourage, is for small groupings to gather together, and again, to watch the live stream. At the moment, the government regulations are that if a church does gather in a building, then they still have to apply social distancing, which obviously is good practice for keeping everyone safe, but also they're not allowed to uh, have any live worship or any children's work at the moment. And so because of that, we're preferring to gather people in small groups and to continue with our major expression of church being the live stream. So in phase two, which we're anticipating is uh, more flexibility to have small group gatherings, then again, we want to encourage people to gather in homes and in gardens, but together do church around the live stream. And again, to uh, grow a sense of local community where you are. And then we're anticipating that that will take us on to the next phase of gathering. And so depending on what the government say, and obviously we don't know yet when restrictions will change and when gatherings will be allowed to be larger and with singing and all those sorts of things. But this is our roadmap for now. So phase three will be gathering kind of 30 to 50 people maybe, depending on what the government say, and starting to gather in small gatherings uh, to, for corporate worship, probably still at some sort of distance um, if need be, but having a venue where we can have 30 to 50 people come together and worship corporately together and be family together on a Sunday and at other points in the week as well. And so it means as well we can have picnics together um, during the week and all sorts of things, but really focusing on, on growing our relationship with one another and gathering on a slightly larger scale uh, once again to, to encourage one another and worship together. Now at that stage of gathering, we're obviously going to need to find a number of venues that would be able to take 30 to 50 people. And it may well be that we've got some people in their home or their garden is big enough to be able to do that. It may be the some premises that we could use as well. And maybe a good thing for us to be praying about as a church is, are the places in my local community that would work for a mini restore gathering when we get to the stage of between 30 and 50 people able to gather? And if you can think of any of those venues, then if you let us know, we'll investigate those so that we're ready for phase three of the roadmap towards regathering. Now, at some point, we're trusting that we'll get to phase four of the regathering process. And when we get to phase four, it will be when actually we relaunch congregations. So there's in uh, essence a four stage uh, process or roadmap to regathering. Stage one is what we're at right now, which is invite one other household where you're safe and happy to do that, to gather together on a Sunday and tune into the live stream. Phase two is gathering three or four households and maybe heading towards a little small group gathering in a home or in a garden and tuning into the live stream. Phase uh, uh, three is then gatherings of 30 to 50. At that point, we will still 
continue with the live stream. So if you're needing to shield or still not comfortable with gathering with other people, we'll be continuing right the way through with the live stream because we want everyone to be included and to be a part of the journey. And then phase four, when we uh, finally uh, regather as congregations, again, we will continue with live streaming. So live streaming is here to stay and will be one of the essential features of Restore Community Church going into the future. So obviously a lot of that roadmap is based on how we gather on a Sunday, but I want to say that's not our focus as a church. We love to be community and be church in our community. So all through this, uh, these phases, we want to encourage you to, to be in relationship with your neighbours and your friends and other people in church and to be building community and being the church in your community through Monday through to Sunday. And so really, I love the idea of households gathering and inviting their neighbours in. And so be thinking that way. This is not just about a Sunday service, but this is about being the church in our local communities, being relational and inviting people in to come to know Jesus.